Hey everyone, Logan from Westwall here. We've got a really cool pattern for you guys this week. We've actually kept it a secret for quite a while. We've used it a lot for stuff like tailors, redfish, um, done great on it for sheep's head, which everybody knows can be picky little boogers. And it is just a simple little crab fly. Has some legs sticking out the back, has some nice tight little eyes so they don't foul on you. It's just got a tiny bit of cross cut out the back for some movement. And it really just gives off a nice little crab profile, a little crustacean profile. It can be kind of shrimpy like the last one. This one's a great little blue crab imitation for when all the little blue crabs are packed on the flats and the reds are crunching on them. Um, it's really not that hard. There's a little more pieces to it, but it's not that difficult of a fly. And it, it's a great fishing fly, guys. This little crab pattern is going to be tied on one of the Titan X Wacky Hooks from Mustad in a size 2. We'll bring the thread all the way to right before the bend of the hook. And then we have some peach cactus chenille. Large, medium, either one will work. If you're going to use a medium, just make sure you do a couple more wraps with it. What we're going to do is build up a little bowl of cactus chenille that's going to help it from fouling and give it a little hot spot. And then once you have a nice little ball, normally it takes about six or seven wraps. I will actually hold it back and just tie back on it just a hair. And then we have some really cool silly legs in this clear with fire tips. And we're going to tie these in right at an inch and a half, two inches. But what I like to do is just make sure you'll get used to the length of it. That you get both the clear and the orange in the pattern. So you just have to compensate it and make sure you don't tie in too much of the clear so you don't get any of that orange in the finished product. It's nice to have those little fire orange tips sticking out. Then once you have the legs down, we're going to go ahead and take some cross cut rabbit we have in light brown. We'll tie that in right on top there guys. Once again, like I said, I don't mind wrapping back on some stuff, really making sure it's secure. We're going to do three wraps with the cross cut and then tie off the cross cut so you can cut off any extra. Once again, I'm going to wrap back on that cross cut just a hair and just make sure it's all really secured in there for you. And then next we have some inch and a half Sonio chromatic brush and what's called lizard from Enrico Puglisi. It's a pretty cool flashy chartreuse color. It's going to be most of our flash in this pattern. I have a piece of that a fourth of the whole strip. It's like a little inch and a half, inch and a quarter piece there. I'm gonna go ahead and do four or five wraps of that. Most of the time it's just about the whole strip. There you go. Tie that off. I don't mind using my little Enrico Puglisi finger brush here once. Make sure you get everything untangled. You're not just wrapping over stuff and making a big ball. I'm going to back wrap on that just a hair. Your thread should still be right around that hook point guys. We haven't skipped a bunch of room. We're packing this little pattern nice and tight. And then we have the EP component little crabby shrimp eyes there guys it's in the large natural color and I like to tie these things tight literally
literally just like a little eighth inch stem sticking off the fly, off the shank of the hook. Make sure they're tied in really good, guys. This is on the belly part of the pattern. It's inverted now. Tie them in really good. And then I'll just make sure they're split apart so I can get in between them. And we have the inch long tarantula brush from Enrico Puglisi now. This is just a white tarantula. I have one of those brush stems cut in half so I have an actual nice long piece of brush here guys. And I'm going to tie this on dead center between those eyeballs. Tie it in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and come around the eyes in front of them back toward the hook shank once then jump in front now and we're really gonna start packing this little pattern with this guys you should be able to get just about the entire stem the entire half stem you cut of tarantula brush packed nice and tight Keep brushing the stuff on the right side facing the eye of the hook forward so it gets out of your way. Tie it all in. Cut off any extra you have guys. You should have a nice little gap up there by the eye of the hook still where you're just going to take some painted lead eyes. We have some yellow ones here and small. Go ahead and flip your pattern back over so you're on the back side of it again where you started. And tie in some small lead eyes. You could always use a little bigger ones if you're in a little deeper water. It shouldn't take much to flip this pattern over guys. If you wanted it to ride hook up which is always nice especially when you're fishing little grassy areas for redfish and stuff. This is a great little redfish fly. We've caught sheep's head on it, which everybody knows can be picky little suckers sometimes on fly. Then once you have those nice and secured, go ahead, we'll whip finish it. And you're gonna be done with, the, done with the tying part, guys. And now we're gonna cut this EP tarantula down, way tiny on the side with the eyes we're going to cut the tarantula, we're going to cut the cross cut, we're going to cut the sanyos, we're going to cut everything back to where you should be able to see all the way down to the little cactus chenille hot spot you made. Everywhere else we're just going to cut mostly the tarantula to where there's only a couple wraps of tarantula left at full length and you should just see a couple of the little tarantula legs still sticking through and giving you some movement and whatnot. And I'm going to try to get this as close as we can, as fast as we can here for you guys. Alrighty guys. And now, last but not least, We'll go ahead and throw some Loon Flow on your wraps there. Hit it with the UV light. And you guys got a really cool crab pattern now. Very simple. It's not going to want to foul a lot. You could always split off each side a little bit and I always just take a little pinch of the cross cut out from the center. But you can see there guys, you got a really cool little crab. Small profile, not too intrusive. And the little crustacean eaters love it.